Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be doing a review slash tutorial of the Death by Chocolate palette from Makeup Revolution. This is a new palette for them that just rolled out about a week or two ago, I'm not sure. But I ordered this palette as soon as it came out from Ulta's website. I honestly think that this brand has such good quality products for the price. I personally love this brand and I think it just gets overlooked a lot of times because honestly there are so many good makeup brands out there that this one I think just gets passed by sometimes but I have tried the Fortune Favors the Brave palette and the, the sorry the names completely rubbed off on the front that's how much I've used this one this is the Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold um, highlighting blush palette I have used the crap out of both of these palettes. This was like my go-to highlighting palette for the longest time. I was using this literally every day. This palette had lived in my purse for, I swear I didn't take it out of my purse for like three months. And, and I also used the Fortune Favors the Brave palette like so much as you can see. I just think that this brand as a whole is really good and I really like the quality of the products and the price is amazing. Like for this palette here, the Fortune Favors the Brave one, this has a ridiculous amount of colors and this is only $15. Like, look at the mirror size, look at how many colors you get. Yeah, the pans are a little bit smaller, but this is like, you get like every color here. So I was really excited to try this new palette from them, and it just looked gorgeous for fall. Like, look at these colors. Like, this is just gorgeous for fall. It's called the Death by Chocolate palette for obvious reasons. It's got a lot of browns in here, but the, you got some really pretty shimmer shades in here too, and I'm going to swatch all of these colors and show you guys what they look like on the skin. I'm going to do a little tutorial on this completely matte brown fall makeup look for you guys today because I just love this look for fall. This is one of my favorite go-to looks and wear it with anything, and it's really easy to achieve, especially if you're a beginner when it comes to eyeshadow. This look is so easy, and I'm hoping that I can maybe do another tutorial using some of the shimmer shades on this palette because upon swatching them they are so pretty and really pigmented and I'm really excited to like really dive into this palette on a day when I'm not doing just a completely matte look but I wanted to get this tutorial up for you guys and let you guys know my thoughts on this palette so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And if you're interested in seeing this completely matte brown fall makeup tutorial, then go ahead and keep watching and let's get started. All right, so this is what the palette looks like when you get it. It comes in this little box that looks like a candy bar wrapper, and you can see a cutout of the palette here, and then on the back it has a layout of the palette with all of the colors. And this is what the palette looks like. And then when you open it up, it has a list of all of the color names. And it also comes with this little guy, but I just never use these in eyeshadow palettes, so I usually just throw them away. And as you can see, it is a very large palette, and the pans in the palette are a pretty good size. So there are 16 shimmer and matte shades in this palette, and as you can see, they're kind of a lot. So I'm going to show you guys the swatches real quickly here, and I'm just going to go through them kind of row by row. I think that will be the quickest and easiest way. Alright, so in the first row we have a pretty shimmery white, followed by a shimmery pink, a cool matte brown, a warm matte brown, and a matte black. All right, the second row we have a nice matte pink, a true shimmery gold, another really warm matte brown, a cool matte brown, a shimmery rusty orange, and finally a purpley red shimmer color. All right, the last row is definitely my favorite. First we have a bronzy brown shimmer, followed by a warm toned gray shimmer, then a cool toned gray shimmer, and a pink silver shimmer, and then finally a white pearl. All right, so after swatching all of the colors on my arm, I'm actually really impressed with all these colors, especially the shimmer shades. I feel like they swatch a lot different on your skin than they look in the pan. Like I wouldn't have expected like such color and pigmentation. So let's go ahead and get right into using the Death by Chocolate palette. All right, so I'm gonna first start off with my Sigma E40 brush with the first shade in the palette, that really light matte beige color. And we're just gonna do this in windshield wiper motions above the crease, up towards the brow, and just kind of lighten that area up. And this is the color White Light. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this color like almost all the way up to my brow. Next, sticking with that same brush, I'm gonna pick up the third color in the palette. This is called Break Me Up. It's like a nice cool gray brown. And I'm gonna do this just slightly under where we put that last color, right above the crease. 
color is not applying super pigmented. I'm picking up a good amount of product. I've dipped back in about three times now. I'm trying to pick up that color, but we're just using this as a transition. So we don't want it too pigmented and too bright in that area. So I think the shade is going to work well for that. All right, next we're gonna go in with the third color in the second row. This is called One More Bar. It's that like milky chocolate brown, that really warm brown. And I'm switching over to the E38, slightly smaller blending brush. We're gonna start this color on the crease and then we're gonna work it downwards on the lid. This color is seeming to be much more pigmented than the last color we were just working with. I haven't dipped back into this color yet. And as you can see, it's completely covered my crease at this point. So I'm going to dip back in a little bit more. For some reason there's one spot right here where the color isn't really sticking, which is kind of weird. Alright, so it's pretty much blended out at this point. I feel like it's taken me a little bit longer to blend the color than normal, but now that I've got it blended out, I think it looks pretty good. The color is pigmented, I just feel like you have to work a little bit to get it blended to the point where it looks good. All right, next I'm gonna go in with Devour Me, and we're gonna be using this one all over the center of the lid to really darken everything up. For this one, I'm switching over to my E32 brush from Sigma. I'm gonna go in with this brush completely dry first, and then we might dampen it up in just a second. I wanna test how the color performs with a completely dry brush. This is a smaller blending brush with short bristles good for packing the color to the center of the eyelid. So this color seems to be like pretty pigmented going on. It's already like almost as dark as I want it. It's blending out nicely in to the other color. All right, so I've got that color applied basically all the way up to my crease now and I'm just gonna go back with the E38, that smaller blending brush and just blend it just a little bit into the other color. So this color that I'm using is definitely one of my favorite of the palette. I feel like it's just really pigmented and it's really pretty. Going back to my E40 brush real quick, I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit more of that warm brown one more bar and I'm just gonna blend that a little bit more right above the crease. All right, now like I thought, I am gonna continue with that E32 brush. I'm gonna dampen it just a little bit, continue with that color Devour Me and I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit closer to my lash line, just so we can get some really good intensity there. Now I think it looks really, really good, and this is like the depth and the darkness that I was wanting on my eyes. So I definitely have some fallout. I'm not sure if you can see, but I definitely have some fallout now from those darker brown colors. So I'm just gonna go back in with my clean, fluffy brush and wipe all that powder away. All right, so I think the upper lid looks really good now and just really smoky and chocolatey. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of one more bar, that warmer brown color. We're gonna do along the lower lash line to kind of tie everything together. And this is the e.l.f. eyeliner brush. It's just a really nice little flat brush, good for your lower lash line. You just want a little bit so that we are carrying the color down and everything kind of blends together. All right, so this is how it looks with the lower lash line done. And for eyeliner today, I'm just gonna continue with the same flat eyeliner brush. I'm gonna dampen it with my NYX Matte Setting Spray. And I'm gonna go in with the color All Is Lost. That's that matte black shade. And we're just gonna go right along our upper lash line with this color. Since we're going for a nice matte brown look, I don't wanna go in with like a harsh actual eyeliner, I think I think this technique will complement this look a little bit better since we're going for a nice matte eye. So overall for this palette, I feel like some of the colors are definitely more pigmented than others, and some of them are definitely easier to blend out than others. Like that last color that I used all over my lid, that color was really pigmented and went on really nice, but some of the other colors you do have to work a little bit harder. You do get a good amount of colors here and a good amount of pigmentation, I would say. Of course, it's not gonna be 100% perfect at 
at this price point, but it is a good palette for $15. You do have to work a little bit harder, but like I said, you get a good wide range of colors, and especially if you're on a budget, this is just gonna be like a good palette to have for the fall time for creating those smoky fall looks. I think this palette is gonna be great for that. All right, now to finish off this look, I did also receive, they were doing a special on Ulta's website for spend $15 for Makeup Revolution, which is the cost of this palette, and then you get this um, highlighting eyeshadow palette for free. So this is what this little Love the Revolution palette looks like. And I think I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna try to use this little highlight right here and I'm just gonna try to go in to my inner corner with that just a little bit. Just a tiny bit of highlight on the inner corner and under the brows to just brighten it up just a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal Mascara. All right, so I've got my mascara on now, and I think that you can totally leave it just like this. I think this kind of look looks cute without any eyelashes, but I have been dying to try. These are the House of Lashes in the style Mon Cherry, and I have been dying to try this. So I thought today would be a good look with this nice dark matte brown eye to go ahead and pop on a little bit more dramatic lashes. All right, lashes are on, and honestly, I think I might be in love because these eyelashes look so cute and so good with this look and I'm so glad that I tried these all right guys that is it this is the completed look here I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash review of the death by chocolate palette if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure that you do so before you leave today thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you in my next video